Hello, my name is Dennis Van Elsdorp. I'm with the Be Informed Partnership. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about small high beetle control as it pertains to the results from our winter loss and management survey of 2012. Small high beetle is a, a relatively recent pest of, of honeybees. It was introduced um, sometime in the last 20 years and it, it has spread to most of the country. It tends to be a very opportunistic pest in the fact that it attacks weak and dying colonies. Um, and so it can be a real problem in operations that produce a lot of nukes or are in queen rearing operations where they have mating nukes. But generally, people consider it like wax moth on steroid, that these larvae take over colonies very quickly, only after those colonies are fairly weak. So that's the general consensus anyway. Um, we did ask people, did you use small hive beetle traps in your colonies? And overall, we did not find any difference between people who used the trap and didn't in terms of winter survivorship. This trend held the same across regions, so both in northern states and southern states, which is slightly different than last year's results where we saw some positive effect or apparent positive effect in northern states. So in summary, there's no evidence from this last year's survey that the use of small hive beetles traps had a positive effect or negative effect on colony survivorship. The information is for educational purposes only. References to commercial products or trade names do not imply endorsement by the Bee Informed Partnership or its members. The results presented here are the summary of the population who responded. The sample may not be representative of the beekeeping population at large. These results simply highlight differences in the sample population. The results cannot be considered conclusive, causative, protective, or a test to product efficacy or lack of efficacy.